Traditionally, patients that undergo cardiac catheterization have a tube inserted at the top of the leg in the groin area. Uh, and we've used that site to access uh, the major vessels and the heart. Uh, it's, a, it's a very effective location, it's easy to get to. Uh, the drawback potentially is bleeding complications. And because uh, we are in fact blindly sticking the artery in the top of the leg, uh, although it's infrequent, there, are, uh, the, there is the potential for bleeding complication uh, that uh, potentially could be serious. Uh, the artery in the wrist also obviously emanates from the heart. Uh, it's smaller caliber, smaller size than the uh, artery in the leg, uh, but because of its location in the wrist, uh, it's easily accessible, and if bleeding occurs, one simply applies pressure. Um, for the past uh, 15 months, uh, the catheterization laboratory at Wake Forest has uh, switched to the artery in the wrist, the radial artery, as the preferred site to perform cardiac catheterizations. Uh, we performed over 1,500 procedures. Uh, we have zero bleeding complications, uh, and patients have uh, just absolutely embraced this technology because it frees them up immediately. They can sit up, they can walk around. Uh, their comfort level is much higher than it was when we did the procedure from the leg.